going on. Welcome back to another match day vlog. Sheffield Wednesday, home today, Boxing Day. My most favourite game of the season. Uh, let that be known. In the fixture calendars, as soon as it comes out. This is a, this is the one game I'll call for straight away, is this one. Then opening day, and then final day. I'm also wrapping a new jumper as well. Out with the old and the new. Big up your mum and dad with the super dry jumper. South stand is to the right hand side of me. Alright, so what do we expect today? Well, I'm going to go for a 2 1 butter. We'll see what happens. Um, Alright, bud. And like I say, um, you know, it's one of them, but you know, these aren't, these aren't seem to be looked over. Uh, Try to get our customers a push over Sheffield Wednesday. We've got some decent players. Lee Bullen, obviously, the caretaker manager as well at the minute before the new manager comes in. Reported to be Steve Bruce. But I say, nearly 30,000 tickets sold today as well. I'm absolutely buzzing for this one. But uh, let's get this job done. Come on, the boys. <laughs> So we are about 40 minutes from the kickoff, and to be fair, there's a fair few here. 30,000 uh, amazing support to the Riverside on this Boxing Day. The Sheffield Wednesday fans a minute ago, and the Borough fans sort of clash somewhere down here. Walk up towards the stadium, both fans run off each other. Let's hope there's no fighting afterwards. Let's just hope we can all watch the game, have a bit of banter during the game, have a decent atmosphere, and hopefully see our team on whichever side we support get the three points. The team is in and it goes as follows as the change. George Savile drops to the bench. Uh, Stuart Downer comes in, has his replacement. So it's similar to the same, well, it's the same team as last week, just one change, that is the change that's been made. Randolph stays between the sticks. Um, although I'm hearing a rumour today that apparently they want him off the payroll in January. Will he go or will he stay? We don't know these things. I'm also seeing that uh, Conor Wickham could be coming in for a British on Belonga. Apparently it's already been done, but that's just a rumour. And also Jermaine Defoe could be on his way to the Borough as well. But the team goes as follows. Randolph's in goal. Paddy McNair stays as a right back after having a decent game against Reading. Then they've got um, Fry, Flint, Ayala, Friend, Clayton Bessich, um, Housen, Downing, and Britt Sombalonga. Wing, it makes a bench. Dimmy's in there as well. We've got uh, Tav, um, Martin Braithwaite, uh, young Steve Walker, who I'm a big fan of. He's also joins the bench. So, not a bad little bench. And Hugh Gill's in there as well. Decent team, decent team to face the Sheffield Wednesday opponents. Um, but I say, how will the game go down? Let's go for the three points. Same on the atmosphere is starting to get a bit good now. And uh, I say, man, there's an awful lot of people about. So, this is a Boxing Day game, my favourite game of the season. Come on, the butter. Let's get the three points and let's get up that table a bit more. Butter, don't lose this one. Come on, the boys. So, it's finished. The 90 minutes is done. Uh, I'm failing to have words for this football club at the minute. It's uh, it's killing me, man. It's it's. Oh, I'm not joking when I say it's killing me. And I know there'll be a lot of fans watching us now laughing, saying, "Hey, look at butter, look at butter." But that's what it is at this moment in time. The club is a laughing stock. It's so negative. It's unreal. <laughs> people got tickets, and then coming out of it, people are kicking off and they were shouting, "Pure this out!" It's toxic. Everything you can think of, and I know we're fifth in the league. And all he keeps talking about is league positions and all that, but it's the performance that counts. And I say again, you know what I mean? There's a lot of teams in this league that are probably playing better than us at the moment in time. I mean, look at the top, look at the top two. Leeds, 51 points now. Norwich are up there, West Brom are flying, and you could sit there now and say the Borough really deserve it. Have we? Is it justifiable our league position towards our performances? Do these players deserve to put on this football shirt ever again? And put that butter badge on their chest because when you put it on, it's got to mean something, it's got to have a passion there, and there's nothing there. It's uh, it's good as a fan, and I've said before, I like Hillsborough, I like going there, I like that, you know, me Sheffield Wednesday fans, uh, I think they are great supporters. And uh, today, they sang all the way through, jumping all over the shop, and this is why I wouldn't have. I mean, the team's winning away, three points goes back to Sheffield, and we go home empty handed. You know what I mean? It's probably his, my most favourite game of the season. And I've got to look back on it this year as a disappointment. But of course, Saturday I'll be there again. 30,000 in the stadium today. You can't tell me one of them's going home happy tonight as a Borough fan. Unless you're from Sheffield. 
It's this morning again down the riverside. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys again on Saturday.